Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Java Fundamentals. Uh, this is a series in which I go over the fundamentals of Java, go figure, as if you were learning it in college as an intro level programming class. So I'm going to assume this is your first language. I'm going to cover all the fundamentals including strings, variables, expressions, loops, and other control statements like if, else, and switch. I'm also going to cover methods, arrays, and object-oriented programming concepts, and uh, that's when things really start to get tasty. When I took Java as an introductory programming class, uh, this is everything we covered, so my goal is to make this course uh, kind of equivalent to that college-level class. And uh, my name is Tim. I'm the creator of CompSciCentral.com, and uh, that's just meant to be the best resource possible for computer science students. So if you haven't, haven't checked that out yet, it's CompSciCentral.com. Go over there and just give that a look over. I'm sure there's something over there for you. All right, so for today, we're going to keep it really simple, uh, but you, sh you should definitely be excited because today we're going to write our first program called Hello World. And uh, Hello World is kind of a tradition for your first program in any language. It's to get the basics of the syntax of the language and uh, just kind of get a feel for it. So we're going to start there. I can help you out. All right, welcome back to the first lesson in this course. Uh, you've probably realized now that we're in a new window here. Um, this is Dr. Java. It's the IDE that I'll be using for this course. If you're not familiar with what an IDE is, it stands for Integrated Development Environment. And as the name says, it's the environment in which we'll develop our programs. Now, you can use something like Notepad to write code, but without an IDE, you can't actually compile and run your program. Uh, now, like I said, I'll be using Dr. Java, which I recommend, but another great IDE is IntelliJ, and I'll put a link to both of these at the bottom of this video. Uh, but the thing about IntelliJ is that, you know, it's great for creating more advanced Java programs, but it's really not necessary um, for the stuff that we're going to do in this course. So that's why we're going to stick with Dr. Java. All right, so let's jump right into our first program. Um, I'm just going to paste this code. And, uh, and then we're going to look at it line by line, okay? So there it is. Uh, there's our whole program. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, but if this is your first time looking at this and you don't know what it all means, uh, don't worry. That's why you're here, to learn. So before we analyze this, um, I just want to say the most important thing that you take away from this lesson, if you only take away one thing, it's this. Memorize this program, okay? Uh, type it out 10 times, write it on paper 10 times, say it aloud 10 times, whatever you have to do. Um, this is the basis of every Java program that you'll ever write, so it's important that you have it memorized. Uh, and I don't even want you to understand the program completely at this point, I just want you to memorize it. In fact, I I'm going to go over this program, but I'm not going to go into um, every single detail with every part of this program because we're going to cover it more in depth in the future, what, what all this means. Um, anyway, you'll see what I mean, so let's just get started. The first line in our program is public class hello world. And as you can see, it has an opening bracket right here and a closing bracket. The rest of the program is going to be inside these brackets. Public refers to the file's accessibility. Since it's public, it can be accessed by other classes. And don't worry too much about this right now. Uh, we'll get into it more toward the end of the course. Class just refers to the file itself, and hello world refers to the file name. Um, and as you can see um, right now, it's actually unsaved, and thus this file is untitled. If we were to go ahead and save this, then um, this untitled with the asterisk would, would be replaced um, with this hello world here. Um, and once I'm uh, done explaining the rest of this program, I'll save it so you can actually see this change in file name. Then you'll know how to write a program and how to save it. Okay, now let's move on to the second line of code here. Public static void main string args. What does all this mean? Really, you don't need to know what all this means at this time. Um, you know, it, it looks a little intimidating. Just know that you need to include this line exactly how it is inside your program or else your program won't run. Uh, so this weird line is called the main method. 
the main method holds the core of your program uh, but you can't have code outside of the main method which you'll see in the coming videos you may have already noticed that the main method has its own set of brackets uh, opening bracket and a closing bracket and this is probably also a good time to mention that Java is case sensitive so in the, in the case of this string here and this system here in line 3 um, these have to, have to be capitalized otherwise um, you'll get an error or uh, something else is, is going to happen that uh, uh, it's just going to let you know that something's not quite right in the program uh, so this is probably also a good time to just move on to um, line number three system dot out dot print line uh, parentheses quotation mark hello space world quotation mark parentheses and last but not least semicolon don't forget your semicolons that is one of the major cause of mistakes moving forward uh, it's, I mean it's gonna happen to you just just do your best not to forget some of these uh, really crucial syntax alright so this third line is actually the whole essence of the program without this line the program would be empty this is the line that produces the desired result which is for the computer to return a line of text that says hello world this two-word line of text is called a string in Java and this is where we're going to be spending our time at the beginning of this course strings can be either input by the user into the program or in this case strings can be output to the user by the program so this particular string command called system dot out dot print line means print this text inside this quotation mark which is hello space world uh, and then return a new line um, so it, it's like if you were to hit enter on your keyboard it returns the new line there's also a very similar command called system dot out dot print which just prints the desired text but doesn't return a new line um, so let's save this and then you can see exactly what I'm talking about what I'm gonna do is open up uh, create a new folder um, I'm gonna title this um, Java projects <laughs> and I misspelled it I'm just gonna leave it and I'm gonna um, put this right up here and this is what I'm actually gonna store um, all of the projects from from this whole course in I'm gonna store them all in here so I recommend you do the same so you know where all of your your um, program files are and how to access them and uh, refer back to them so once you have this new folder here saved on your desktop you can go back to Dr. Java let's file and save as uh, let's go to desktop and we see Java projects here no T we don't need the T we go ahead and save it and now and we look up here we see hello world dot java instead of just that untitled, untitled uh, with the asterisk alright so now that our program is saved let's compile and run this program so you can see that it actually works and that I haven't wasted uh, five or ten minutes of your life however long it's been so far alright so let's hit compile what is this we have an error So I copied and pasted this from a Word document. That's why we're getting this really weird error. They were quotations, but they were quotations from a, a Google Doc, actually. Um, and that, that, for some reason, must be why we're getting this error. So let's go ahead and recompile this. Compilation complete. So yeah, that, that must have been what it was. And, and you can even see the color of this text has changed. So there was definitely an error there. Don't know why, but it's fixed now. Uh, it compiled. Now let's go ahead and run it and we can see we once we run this run hello world we get this output of hello world alright so this is super awesome uh, we can see that it ran our program and it returned this line of text just as we commanded it to uh, now really quickly let's change this command from print line to just print and let's see what happens let's compile it and let's run it and we actually we get the exact same thing minus you know what I'm just noticing that this uh, this pointer arrow here was on was on the following line before let's go ahead and change this and see if see if I'm right there compile and run yeah so 
so the difference between print system out print and system out print line is that print line actually uh, puts this cursor arrow arrow on a different line um, just basically ready for uh, a new line of text so that's the difference between these two and uh, so that, that covers just about everything I wanted to cover in this first video I hope you guys enjoyed this and got a good feel uh, for and what to expect for the rest of this course I hope it wasn't too boring for you uh, which actually brings me to my last point in this video um, I'm gonna try and make these videos entertaining but my goal really isn't entertain really isn't to entertain it's to teach um, and sometimes when you're learning new challenging things it can get boring or difficult but you just have to power through because if you make it to the end of this course I'm telling you you'll have a solid understanding of the Java fundamentals in the next video we're going to talk a little bit more about strings so until next time take care thanks I can help you out. I can help